Throughout this week's Torah portion, the Hebrew word im, if, is used many times in connection with the karbonos, the sacrifices. If a person does that, he or she has to bring this sacrifice. If he or she pledges that, they have to bring that type of sacrifice. But there's one time when the Torah changes the word to the Hebrew word asher, that. That word is used in connection and only in connection with the sacrifice that the Nasi, the leader of the Jewish people, has to bring if he commits an unintentional transgression. Some commentators link the use of that unusual word to the word ashrei, fortunate. Fortune is the generation who has a leader who atones even for his unintentional transgressions. How inspiring for the rest of the people. But I heard a different explanation once that's equally important. Asher, that means it's going to happen. It's not an if, it's a when. When the leader of the Jewish people sends. It's telling us through that subtle switch in the language, one word changing, that mistakes are inevitable. Even the leader of the Jewish people makes mistakes, is going to make mistakes. Not infallible. No one's perfect. I tell this to my kids all the time when they suggest that perhaps I'm making a mistake. I say, you may be right. It does happen every once in a while. I remember in 1998, I made a minor mistake. And then again in 2006, once every 20 years or so. So I'm due, it's possible. But kidding aside, no one's perfect and we have to recognize that, that we are going to make mistakes. We have to learn from them, we have to grow from them. And we can't be afraid to make a mistake or we'll stunt our spiritual growth. We grow after making that mistake, falling off the horse, dusting ourselves off, thinking about what we did wrong, resolving to repair our ways, and then getting back up on that horse and back in the saddle. And that's why, after the biggest mistake ever in Jewish history, the golden calf, after Moshe came down from the mountain, saw what was going on, smashed the tablets, we picked up the shards of those tablets, and we put them in the Aron, in the Holy Ark, and we used to bring them into battle. That mistake, after proper contemplation and repentance and repair of our wayward ways, became our strength. 